It is estimated that about 12 million people are living in slavery globally, with about 700,000 persons trafficked across various borders every year. 80% of victims of human trafficking are young people. Though the Trafficking in Persons Prohibition and Enforcement Act is in force in Nigeria, human trafficking has remained a challenge in the country. We are speaking to all the, all the partners, the government, the whole of government and the whole of society that we need to close ranks and that this is not a job alone for NAPTI. Okay, because uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, we're losing children. It is the greatest danger facing Nigeria. The human security implication of trafficking cannot be, cannot be quantified. It, has, it is huge, and we just have to put hands on the deck to make sure every hand that wants to support NAPTIP will be encouraged and will also be, will be appreciated by NAPTIP. Prevention, and to look at the drivers of human trafficking, protection of the rights of the victims, and then prosecution for those who are traffickers, those who are guilty of this heinous crime. Um, but to add to that, or those three P's, I would say that partnership is the fourth P, and that's what we're doing today uh, in supporting the Devatop uh, organization. Anti-human trafficking advocacy uh, training is part of my Pass It On project. These young people will be going to communities to carry out advocacy to take action against human trafficking. Participants at the advocacy training say they have so much to take home. Very important program for us as a society with the high rate of humans that are being trafficked from Africa and will be able to impact the society at large. A good program, you know, in order to help to combat this menace that is actually eating deep in Nigerian economic development. And the training targeted at equipping youth corps members to carry out community projects to combat human trafficking is the brainchild of Devetop Center for Africa Development, supported by the United States Embassy in Nigeria. Aqua Ona, AIT News, Abuja.